progression series have taken over the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, and it's not hard to see why. You never know exactly what kind of decks you're gonna see, and so many people bring fresh and interesting takes on the formula. And in this series, we want to bring you in on the action. Every week, Noah Jenk and myself will open up 24 packs of a core booster set before meeting on the dueling field for a best 2 out of 3. Then, once the match is over, you'll get to vote on which cards should get the boot, whether it's a staple card that makes the games less interesting, or a card only one of us relies on just to bully us, and the top 3 cards voted get banned forever. However, the winner can sidestep this with their prize, earning a veto that can grant a one-time immunity to banning for any of those cards. We're fighting for our card pools, but ultimately, the choices come down to all of you. Welcome to Progression Polls, where your voice shapes the format. Hello everyone, Golden Nova here, and thank you so much for joining us on this new series, Progression Polls. You know, I've been wanting to do one of these things for a while now, and when Noah Jenk reached out about doing one, I was ecstatic. If you haven't heard about them, Noah Jenk makes a wonderful video series called What's in a Duel, where they cover some of the most impactful duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s anime history. We're not just talking about a point-by-point -point of what happens each turn, but also what the themes are, what's at stake, what any given card can mean for a particular character, even things like the composer and writer of that episode so you know what went into its creation. If you haven't subscribed to him, you owe it to yourself to do so now, you're really missing out. But, without further ado... The Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon, the first TCG core booster set, filled with a mix of unplayable chaff and broken cards that, if allowed to see play today, would warp the format around them. This opening is going to be very integral, as cards like Raigeki, Dark Hole, and Monster Reborn are going to be integral for future games, and we're not really going to have another chance to get them. So, 24 packs of Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon, let's get cracking. Yes, hello, boys, girls, and empties of all ages. I am Noah Jink here, and as my compatriot Nova has stated already, it is time to get started with the progression polls. I'm not going to want to wait any longer. I want to get ahead. I want to start opening some packs. I want to do this thing. So let's do this. Let's not wait any longer. Bam. Okay. Um, hmm. We have some, like, I guess, okay beat sticks off the bat. We have Follow Wind. That could come useful, but, you know, we'll have to see. Alright, I'm not getting some amazing pulls here, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there is some stuff here that might be able to help in the long run, like two-pronged attack. But, actually, if I could get two more of those, I might be happy. I'm just trying to look for the meta staples of the time. That's my main thing I'm looking for right now. And so far, I'll be honest, I'm not really getting anything I like a lot here. But it's still early. We have to believe. All right, basic insect, flame manipulator, mountain, trial of nightmare, tripwire beast, raise body heat, dark energy, dragoness of the wicked knight, and kagemusha of the blue flames. Get used to this spread, folks. Um, it is going to be a lot of these normal monsters that don't do much. We're hoping to bank on things like uh, mountain and raise body heat, field spells and equip spells that will help boost our other monsters. Uh, otherwise, we need things like skull redbird to have a good strong baseline for our normal summons. Uh, and warrior number one, legendary sword, root water, Kumo, ooh, Kumo Toko, Spike Seedra, Skull Servant Baby, Green Phantom King, uh, Carbonala Warrior, and Vile Germs. Great to see that Skull Servant, that might come up later. Another follow, and we got a Hane Hane. Awesome. This is pretty much exactly the kind of thing I want to keep seeing here. So if we can get two more of these, I'm happy. Two more Hane Hane, that's all I need. Heck, throw in a pot of greed for, for God's sake. Why not, you know? All right. Uh, we have an Exodia. We're getting an Exodia. So that could be useful. We might be able to run Exodia Stall. We might be able to run Exodia Stall. Depends what I can get here. Um, Beast Fangs may be useful. But basically, so far, just pretty basic stuff. Not gonna lie. Red Medicine. That might come in handy. I really doubt it, though. I think I have a place at a power of Kaishin now. And another two-prong attack. Okay, that's not bad. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, Larvis, Misa Uzami, 
Nimuriko, Monster Egg, Metabat, Kagemush of the Blue Flame, Remove Trap, Reaper of the Cards! Oh, that's a funky one! Oh, that's a funky one. I love it with the uh, monsters that do not have the standardized 0-0 zero, zero at the end of their stats. It's amazing. I miss those days. Mystical Moon, Psychibus Knight, Mountain, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Fire Grass, Hard Armor, Dragon Treasure, Silver Fang, and Final Fla Oh my god, that artwork is so it's so brutal. I'm so glad they changed it. Dissolver Rock, Misaki Legendary Swordsman, Tripwire Beast, Electro Whip, Skull Servant number two! We're doing it, folks! We're five packs of 20 packs in the future, we're gonna be ready for Skull Servant the deck. Come on, come on. Uh, uh. Mountain's okay, I guess. Skull Servant could be fun <laughs> to mess with. But I mean, other than that, nothing really particularly outstanding, and especially in here, uh, nothing really outstanding in this set either. So let's keep going. Next pack, give me what you got. So again, Mammoth Graveyard, Beaver Warrior. Oh, we have Reaper! Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, alright. This could be okay. This could be okay. Um, this could come into handy. I would like to be able to see one more of those. Of course, two uh, is always ideal, but, you know, luck of the draw is never on my side. And that. Oh, shit! Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Now, there, see, now we're speaking, now, we're, now you're speaking my language, Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, come on, give me some more lucky stuff here. Give me another lucky pull. Give me another lucky pull. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, two sp Okay, we have the two-pronged attack playset. Play that's really good. That's going to come in handy. I feel it. I feel that's going to come in handy. And if it doesn't, then uh, you can put that in the compilation or something. <laughs> okay, we have a left legs. So we have the Exodia, and we have, we have the left leg. We have more damn power of Kaishin than I can shake a stick at. Monster re fucking born baby all right i don't know and we got another reaper i don't know if nova's uh pulls were as good as this but i'm feeling it i'm feeling it i am feeling it Yu-Gi-Oh gamers i am feeling it let's open up this next pack now what we got oh baby oh my goodness not only do we have the raigeki we have more burn we have burn we have the raigeki are you kidding me are you kidding me this is what I like to see. This is what I like to see for these packs. Uh, Book of Secret Arts, Spike Cedra, Laser Cannon Armor, Electro Whip, Fiend Reflection Number Two, Violet Violet Crystal, Skull Redberg, very important. Ooh, and Grave Digger Ghoul, uh, and the third, the third Skull Servant. We're we're so set, folks. We're so set for the future Skull Servant deck. Uh, Grave Digger's Ghoul is a great way to get cards out of the graveyard, though. If Noah Jank pulls like Monster Reborn, we have at least a way to mitigate against that. Uh, Flame Manipulator, Kagemusha of the Blue Flame, Raise Body Heat, Skull Redbird number two, Steel Ogre Grotto number one, and Warrior number two, Hitatsumi Giant, Aqua Mador, and One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Okay, good. We have a defense position, a uh, good strong defense position monster. We're looking for a lot of these. And Warrior number one, Raise Body Heat, Steel Ogre Grotto number one, Fiend Reflection number two, Yami, One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Mountain, Dragon as the Look at Flame, and Hard Armor. Dark Grey, Trial of Nightmare, The Thirteenth Grave, Dark World Thorns, Rain Temperature, The Right Leg of Exodia! We're almost there, folks! Sogan, Yurabi, and uh, Cherubane, The Fire Knight. Hey, so we have a level 3 monster for future instant fusions. Hello, Burning Abyss. Uh, and, of course, Dual Link Staple, Yurabi. Uh, Follow Wind, Fiend Reflection number two, Root Water, Violet Crystal, Enchanted Mermaid, Tyhone, Spike Cedra, Dark Fire Dragon. Okay. Tripwire Beast, Ray and Temperature, Turtle Tiger, Terror the Terrible, and Warrior number two, the Furious Sea King, uh, Fusionist. Hey, another level three target, and it's a little cat. And Warrior number two, Turtle Tiger, Kuma Otoko. Flame Manipulator, Dark Energy, Machine Conversion Factory, Witty Phantom, Dark Fire Dragon, and Petite Angel! What a round! 
Uh, Succubus Knight, Dark Grey, Dragon Treasure, and Warrior Number 2, Masaki, Petite Angel, Rain Temperature, Hain Hain, very important. Um, I'm glad to see that we got some kind of interaction like that. We haven't run into any, like, super powerful, uh, none of those DM staples. Um, and we only have 11 packs left. I'm getting a little worried here. Next one. Let's go ahead and flip all these at once, just like we've been doing. Let's do this thing. Uh, not great, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Let's keep going. 17. Good number. Good number. Okay, maybe not a good number. 18, a better number. 18 is a better number. We get something good here. I'm feeling it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe 19 is the lucky number. Who knows? Could just be more pack filler. And look at that. It's more pack filler. I don't know. Silver Fang is like... That's like a thing. I guess. <laughs> I don't think I have any polymerization at all, so I, I'm getting all these fusion monsters, but like, just no, no means with which to fuse them. You know what I mean? Okay, left leg. Was that the one I got earlier, though? Because if it is, then that just doesn't matter <laughs> at all. Another left leg! Jesus! Why am I getting so many left legs? What? I, I mean, am I just gonna run a place out of left leg? Left leg stall? Is that what we're doing here? Gaia the Fierce Knight, baby. Okay. We have we 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 have we're getting we're getting uh we're we're forming a win con here. I can tribute summon Gaia and just beat over all his shit. Unless he gets something better than me. In which case I'm fucked. Um Yeah, Curse of Dragon, okay, we're getting all the fun stuff. Alright, last pack. Last pack. Uh Violet Crystal, Armored Starfish, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, the Thirteenth Grave, Silver Fang, Fiend Reflection number two, M Warrior number one, Beaver Warrior, and Grave Digger's Ghoul. I am ready for the graveyard hate. <laughs> Uh, Mountain, Raise Body Heat, Dark Energy, Frenzied Panda, Metabat, Steel Ogre Grotto number one, Petite Angel, Hinotama, Flame Ghost. Man, I am set with the level threes here. Remove Trap, Beaver Warrior, Machine Conversion Factory, Sogan, Masaki, Dark World Thorns, Dissolve Rock, Raise Body Heat, and Fusionist. Oof, yeah, two thirds. Uh, we're we're looking for playables. Silver Fang, Taihone, Turtle Tiger, Mammoth Graveyard, Monster Egg, Fire Grass, Lesser Dragon, Follow Wind, and the third Grave Digger's Duel. The <laughs> Grave Digger's Duel. <laughs> Grave Digger's Ghoul. Turtle Tiger, uh, Electro Whip, Kagemusha the Blue Flame, Tatsumi Giant, Laser Cannon Armor, Trihorned Dragon, ooh, the Secret Rare coming in hot, and the third Skull Red Bird, and a second Reaper of the Cards, let's go! Um, okay, so now we have a big, like, a, a big monster that we can attack with, which is kind of a, a, a big double-edged sword in this format. Uh, removal does exist in the form of things like Fissure, uh, and if Noah Gent gets Monster Reborn, then they can get it if we manage to summon it. Um, on the flip side, if we can get it, then we can find a way to discard it to summon it ourselves for cheap. It's a, it's a mixed bag, Trihorn Dragon, especially since it's not Blue Eyes White Dragon. I have to believe in myself. We'll do it one by one. Silver Fang. Come on. Come on. I'm feeling it. Okay. Last card in the pack. What do I get? Okay. Yep. I don't think I got a single polymerization. I did get a Hane Hane, which this is probably going to come in handy. This this guy right here is probably going to come in handy. All in all, uh, this could have been a lot better, but it also could have been a hell of a lot worse. I got some decent pulls in the in the form of Black Hole, uh, Raigeki, uh... Hane Han is really good. Of course, Monster Reborn is a classic staple. Uh, I could be a lot more upset with this. Uh, this is not bad. This is okay, and the Red Medicine is going to be a lot of fun as well to work with. All right, so let's get to deck building. Uh, Nemoriko, Misaruzami, Urabi, Fiend Reflection, Skull Red Bird, Reaper of the Cards, Red Eyes Black Dragon! Yes! We have Joey's premier card in 80 sets when we somehow get Dragoon. I am halfway there. Uh, Dark Energy, Enchanted Mermaid, Terror the Terrible, Spike Seedra, Masaki Legendary Swordsman, Wasteland, Forest, Red Medicine, and Cherubane the... Fire Knight. 
uh, the 13th Grave, Hard Armor, Hinotama, the One-Eyed Shield Dragon, uh, Mystical Shield Number 2, Woody Phantom, Mountain, Kumo Tumo, and Shirubane, the Fire Knight. Uh, oh, come on. We're looking for something real busted here. Okay. Lesser Dragon. Rain Temperature. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Legendary Sword. Root Water. Skull Servant. Again, Hitatsumi Giant. Metal Dragon. Sandstone. Mm, Uh-oh. Legendary Sword. Two-Mouth Dark Ruler. Succubus Knight. Red Medicine. Tripwire Beast. Petite Dragon. Terror the Terrible. Gravedigger Ghoul. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Oh, mm, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Both of our secret rares have been un... I don't say unplayable, but definitely not in the range that we need. Okay, last pack. Last pack. Please. Please something really, really good. Silver Bone Arrow. Yumi. Psychobus Knight. Vile Germs. Silver Fang. Yurabi. Violet Crystal. Flame Ghost. And Follow Wind. Oh... Oh, this was... This was painful. I am not going to lie here. Okay, so I'm taking a look at the cards we have now, and I'm not going to lie. We are in a pretty bad place. Uh, we don't have any super powerful spells or traps to mess around with. We didn't pull a lot of high defense monsters. Uh, we pulled a single Aquamador. That's our single 2,000 defense monster. Um... However, we're not without our good points. We did pull a requisite playset of Skull Redbird, uh, so we at least have the strongest level 4 normal summon that's in the card pool right now. Uh, and we also have a good uh, support suite in the three follow wins and playset of Mountain uh, to help increase his attack even further. Uh, and while they are kind of a liability, we do have two powerful two tribute monsters. Um, I would certainly would want the Summon Skull over the Red Eyes Black Dragon, but like I said, it gives us the power of Joey, and if I've learned anything from the anime, is that if you embrace the spirit of luck and chance, victory is only, like, uh, a plot point away. So, I'm gonna take all of this, I'm gonna brew the best deck that we can, and I'll see you in a second. Alright, Yu-Gi-Oh gamers, boys, girls, and MBs alike, after many, many hours of toiling over what my deck list should be, I came up with this ungodly abomination. Originally, I did state my win con was going to be to get two monsters on the field in order to tribute Gaia and get him out and use him as a beat stick. That's still going to be important, but it's not really my win con anymore. I'll be honest, this deck doesn't really have a win con. Um, I pretty much worked with what I have or what I was able to get, and I was able to get some pretty decent stuff, I'm not going to lie. Two-pronged attack playset might come in handy. I think it will. Uh, I'm running the three Turtle Tiger um, because I think it's a decent defense stat, uh, especially for being a level four early on. That's going to be pretty useful. Silver Fang and the two Beast Fangs, I think it's probably going to come in handy. Uh, I'm running the two Reaper and the two Armed Ninja just in case I need to take out some back row. Uh, Red Medicine, you never know. Goblin Secret Remedy again, you never know. Same goes for Gravedigger's Ghoul. I'm just trying to cover my bases, and I got the high stat Aqua Mador, but I only got the one, as well as the one Spirit of the Harp. So hopefully I can just top deck them and win every time. Uh, that'd be awesome. You might notice I'm running an extra deck. Uh, I do not have any polymerization, so that's going to be a little bit weird. Uh, I might get one at some other point, though. Maybe later on in the future in another pack. Who knows? I don't, and you don't either. Dragon Capture Jar, I only got the one of. I don't know what Nova's running. Nova might not even be using any dragon-type monsters at all. But if they are, it's going to be nice. You know, if I'm able to draw it. Uh, yeah, and since some decent stats. Really, all I can do here is just build my deck around having decent stat monsters and pray to God that I draw into something like one of these four up top, uh, even a Gaia. Or, hell, even Spirit of the Harp or Aquamador. Uh, I'm running the Exodias that I drew. I didn't... I, I did draw a playset of the left leg, but uh, I'm more of a right leg kind of guy myself. So, uh, this is the deck profile. It really sucks. I'm going to be totally honest with you. <laughs> but, um, you know, 
It's just a deck profile. And we're starting off... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I would say starting off strong, but we are starting off. So, let's get right to it. Not much else to say about the deck profile. It's time to duel. Alright, and here's what we got. Um, not particularly impressive, but... Let me go through my choices here, um, and hopefully you can see why this looks about as mediocre schoolyard Yu-Gi-Oh as it could possibly get. Uh, we're on the Trihorn Dragon and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, both of these are literally our most powerful monsters, and they gain a bonus from Mountain if we have that on the field too. That makes them exceedingly powerful, um, but as mentioned earlier, these are a double-edged sword. Uh, when it comes to removal, uh, by itself that's going to be very bad because we'll have invested so much for them to get easily removed. Uh, and if Noah Jenk pulled a monster reborn, then we've done all the work in fielding a giant monster for them. That being said, we need something to turn the tide just in case. So we're playing them, and also, whatever, what's ever gone wrong whenever you've embraced the spirit of Joey? Uh, we also have Hain Hain, uh, the singular piece of uh, removal outside of two-pronged attack uh, that gets a monster off board. Uh, we don't like seeing them, uh, especially with the kind of monster pool that we have right now. So Hain Hain is going to be important uh, for maintaining tempo. Uh, we also have some of the strongest level 4 normal summons in here for Skull Red Bird for your Abbey. Um, we're running three mountains to supplement the Skull Red Bird as well as the three Follow Wind. Uh, we're running uh, Raise Body Heat to supplement the Urabis, but not a Wasteland because we only pulled a single one, uh, and I'd rather not play the one of when um, it only helps uh, basically the Urabi by itself. Uh, the rest of our monster decisions were based on what could get bonuses based on our field spells. So we've got uh, the Fiend Reflection number twos for the mountains. Uh, Terror of the Terrible for the dark energies that we're playing. Uh, Witty Phantom is our strongest fiend in the deck and was kind of like the second most powerful thing we could get that would benefit from equip spells. So we're running Terror of the Terrible and Witty Phantom to go along with the dark energies. We're running Tripwire, Tripwire Beasts and Tiehones to go along with the mountains. We're running the Aquaman Door because it is the only 2,000 defense monster that we pulled. And being able to stall will be very important to help us gain material for our two tribute monsters. Uh, we're running Final Flame and two Hinotamas. Uh, this is a total of 1,100 effect damage. Um, no, it's a total of 1,600 effect damage if we can get all of them uh, used in the same game. That's not likely, uh, but it can possibly close out a game that we otherwise wouldn't be able to win. We have to remove trap uh, in case uh, Noah Junk pulled anything really, really good, uh, like trap holes or the like. Uh, and then we also have the two-pronged attack, also uh, just the only other piece of removal we played. Um, to maybe get something annoying off the board that we can't otherwise deal with. Uh, in the side is a bunch of unmitigated um, chaff that isn't doing anything for us right now, but I thought it was funny to have Beaver Warrior, Hitatsumi Giant, Masaki, the Legendary Swordsman in the side. Uh, the one right leg for the Forbidden One, um, just for kicks. <laughs> Uh, the three Skull Servant, because I never want to forget this, these wonderful, wonderful Skelly Boys. Uh, and three Gravedigger Ghouls. This is the only side deck card that matters. If it does turn out that Noah Jank pulled a Monster Reborn, then Gravedigger Ghoul can get rid of their most effective options. Uh, and the extra deck is made of a, a bunch of the fusions that we pulled, uh, all 14 of them. Like I said, not super confident about our game today, but with some strong technical play, we might be able to overcome the limitations that we've been given. Uh, and hey, maybe Noah Jank's pulls were just as bad as mine. See you later. Noah Jank, my brother in arms. It's good to see you. How you doing? Nova, I am doing very well today. I am ready to play possibly the slowest game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I've ever played before. Um, I have had matches that locals go to time before, so I just want to say thank God that we're not doing a time limit. Oh, oh my gosh, thank goodness. The, the power of editing will keep this nice and chipper for everyone at home. <laughs> Um, yeah, I forgot just, like, I knew going in there'd be a lot of, like, draft chaff, but I didn't, I didn't remember how pervasive it would be. Um, it's but it was a- nuts. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, did you have any, like, old childhood memories float to the surface? Um, or were you around for the old, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes days? Uh, I wasn't a fan during those days, but my brother would collect some of those old Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so a lot of these designs kind of brought me back. Um, that being said- most of the nostalgia I have with this pack is very limited. So, um, I it was less nostalgia and more just, oh, thank God I pulled this. You know what I mean? Like, oh, totally. Otherwise, this was going to go a lot slower. All right, then without further ado, 
Let's throw those rocks and papers and scissors. Let's do it. Curses. You son of a bitch. <laughs> How dare you. You son of a no, bitch. No, this can't, this can't be happening. I, I won't allow this. You can't be stalling this early on. No. <laughs> oh my no. god. No. no. Okay, no. No. This is not happening. I, I pour my energy into this into this contest of wills. Come on. Come on. What's it going to be? Oh, I picked already. Is it? There we go. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Well, the drum. Fine. At least it's over. Fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go first. All right, good luck to you. No problem. And uh, good luck to you as well. Um, And we're playing old school Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw for a turn. We are. Da -da -da. All right. Check this optimal turn one setup. Set one card. Yep. And pass. Ah oh, man, I'm so excited. <sighs> I'm so how refreshed. This is going to go. <laughs> All right. Stand by main. Let's see. I have quite a lot of things I can do here, and they're all just so good. Oh, um, I, I can't wait. Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, I am also going to set a fun time mystery card Ooh. and pass to you. Awesome. Okay. Uh, draw. Oh, outstanding. We're going to see this a lot, I have to feel like. <laughs> hmm. Will I set this card or will I set a this card? Man, this is going to be a recurring theme early on. <laughs> Bring on GX already. Okay, well, let's let's try to change formats a little. I'm going to summon Duel Link Staple Yurabi. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to throw the first punch. Show me what that face down is. All right. We have... Beaver Warrior. Ah! <laughs> You're not going to do it, my friend. Not yet. No. All right, well... In the face of your mighty beaver, I will pass turn. All right, understood. Draw. Stand by main. Uh, first off, I am going to do the first blow to your life point. <gasps> I activate final flame from my hand. <gasps> Get that minus 600. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Oh, I've, that's I've been Anakin. <laughs> and now, using my beaver as tribute, <gasps> I bring out... The Curse of Dragon! <gasps> the the, the right. Dragon of Curses! It's, it's the Curse it's the dr cursed Dragon, Dragon of Curses. <laughs> so now that it's on the field, I declare an attack on your Yurabi. Oh no, just a little boy. He's just a little birthday raptor. Well, not anymore he's not. Now he's in the grave and you're minus 500. Curses! All right, the first blow has been drawn. <sighs> I'm going to pass turn to you, my friend. Okay. All right. As, as always, the protagonist needs to get hit a little bit before they can come back. Uh, That's true. I'm going to go stand by main. Sure. And we're going to fix this by flip summoning oh, Hain no. Hain. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Get that it. Curse of Dragon back up there. I knew it. Okay. Alrighty. I knew it. Uh, and let's bolster our field with uh, the most dapper... Monster Witty Phantom. Oh, the Wittian. Okay, okay, sure, sure. So that's going to be 1850, I assume? Oh, it's going to be a little more than that because we're going to... Uh oh With some dark energy. Oh, no. All right. Now this is turning out bad. Oh, boy, that's going to be 2150 now. Oh, no. Okay, minus 2150. Rough start. I can do this, though. Feeling good, feeling good. I have good. to believe. I have to believe in myself. Draw. Okay, not bad. Stand by. I hate, I hate to I hear actually, that. <laughs> I believe in this. I believe in this. I'm going to set two <gasps> and pass the turn to you. Oh, my goodness. The scariest thing, a set back row. Very much so. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and bolster the ranks a bit. Uh, oh let's normal summon uh, Tear the Terrible. Oh, wow. Look at that round boy. Yeah, the round man. He's here. Look at the hat. It's so stylish. <laughs> Yo, big jester energy right there. <laughs> it is. All right, uh, we're going to go to battle. Uh, Terror of the Terrible. Take a chunk out of whatever's uh, sitting right there. That's going to be minus 300 for you, friend. Ow! 
my my bones. Your bones. <laughs> okay. Well, then, how about the witty phantom? That will, in fact, go over. And, and let's the e minus four fifty. Yeah, let's even out those life points. Uh, we're not we're not Draco Slayers here. No, God no, dude. That's my least favorite. There's so many monsters with that attack value too. You know what I mean? Like the twenty fives and the fifties. Mm-hmm. It's the worst. Opening okay. Reaper of the cards in this set was outstanding. I I miss when yeah. cards had the those stupid like ninety values. It's yeah, great. Yeah, the goofy ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I have to believe in myself here. Um, this is going to be a little bit difficult to pull through, but I have to do this. I'm going to set this Mystery Time Fun card and pass the turn. <gasps> Mystery Time Fun card. It is. All right. Well, your Mystery Time Fun card better save you from this, because I'm going to tribute Hain Hain oh, and no. Terra the Terrible. Oh, no. To tribute summon Tri Horned Dragon. Oh, wow. Now that is a decent pull. Absolutely. Yeah, this feels like it should have belonged to a character. Yeah, right? Like, it's got all the energy it released alongside Blue Eyes and Red Eyes. Like, who. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I could have seen, like, uh, like Jonoichi or one of the filler characters running this or something. Yeah! No, it's just there. It's just there. Just a, just a, just a tri boy. He's just chilling. Uh, okay, battle phase. Um. Let's make sure you're not rocking one of those two thousand defense monsters. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and run over with Trihorn Dragon. All right, that's fine. I'm going to flip Arm Ninja, targeting your dark energy. <gasps> oh goodness, it's pa it, it's been de-energized. It's been de-energized. That guy goes to grave, and I take fourteen hundred face. Fourteen. Ba -bow. Okay, that's okay though. We can go. We can pull through still. Alrighty. I believe in myself. Mm. Start turn. Draw. Okay, stand by main. This is going to be troubling, but not undoable. We need to set this guy and pass. Alrighty, you're let's. up to bat, my friend. Whew. All right, let's bring. Uh, let's bring the powerhouse of Fiend Reflection number two. Ooh, the 1100. Mm hmm. That's uh, a good body. And we're going to try and suit him up with a little extra power. I'm activating Follow Wind. Oh, wow. You're really going all out. Oh. What's really going to go all out is the second Follow Wind. Oh, my God. Look at you. <laughs> a big, a big boy. Now, that's a lucky draw. Okay, 1700 level 4. We're actually getting into what the attack values of level 4s will be in, like, <laughs> like 2006 or 7. <laughs> Yeah, so I, we're accelerating the, um, what is it? The, we're approaching the singularity of normal monsters. Rapidly, yeah, exactly. So we're doing Fiend Reflection Beatdown right now. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna try, um, let's see here. So if I attack directly with Trihorn Dragon and Witty Phantom, that is game. So I'm gonna try and hit, uh, I'm gonna go to battle phase. I'm gonna try to okay. attack your set monster with Fiend Reflection number two. And that is going to go through because this is a Turtle Tiger. Uh -huh. I'm go to grave. So that I think is gonna be really? game, right? Uh, it's fourteen, and I'm pretty sure twenty-eight fifty after that locks it up. Forty-two that's a, fifty. Yep, that's yeah. gonna be game one. Ah, uh, yes. Trihorn Dragon. It, Trihorn Dragon is my signature monster. <laughs> it's your signature. We need the we need the fan art. We need it. Please, everyone. All right. please, please. That is gonna be game one. I'm gonna go first. There's no reason not to. It's 2002. Mm -mm. Yep. So we don't I'm know going... what game balances. Exactly. Draw. Stand by. Main. Game balance does not exist here. And I, this is not the worst. I'll be honest. This is like this could be a lot worse. So what I'm going to do is normal summon Yurabi. <gasps> That's the turn. Oh my gosh. 1500 baby you can't beat that it's 1500 it's 1500 uh, you know you know rex raft rafter 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 there you go yeah the the winged beast version of rex Rafter. <laughs> yeah yeah all right yeah right well um dang you're right actually i can't beat that <laughs> <laughs> uh okay we're going to go uh, ahead enter main phase my friend all right stand by main like a, like a good duelist i i yes absolutely i, I might know to. how to do uh, okay we're going to run out Mountain! Okay, okay. That's gonna help out uh, any dragon or winged beasts. I'm a dino. Uh, and I'm gonna <laughs> set, set, set a card. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That, you know what? I understand. 
Oh, is that two? See, okay. All right, Draw. go ahead. Stand by, main. All right, is your little little raptor pally gonna have a friend? It may or may not have a friend. It may or may not. But for right now, what I'm going to do is something so terrible. I'm going to tribute summon <gasps> and set by doing so. Wh what? I know. I know. What? <laughs> what could it be? It could what, be anything. What could it be? What's a one tribute defense monster in this format? We don't have Labyrinth Wall yet. And Do then we? I'm going to activate from my hand Monster Reborn. <gasps> you have the card. I have it. I brought it. And I'm going to special back my Urabi. Comes back into my field like a good boy. And then I'm going to enter battle phase and declare an attack over your set card. All right. Well, you might be disappointed as I've got Tyhone, the Sniffet of Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, the Wing Beast. Okay, so I'll take 100. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, alrighty, not bad. So I'm gonna pass the turn to you then. Alrighty, start turn. Hmm. And yet you're still not enough to beat over my Urabi. No, it's it's hu it's humongous. It's just too big. I never thought I'd be afraid of a 1500 normal summon, but here we are. And yet here we are. Hey, I yeah. played against Sparkman Beatdown. It's not fun. Oh yeah. Well, that there's 16. That's that's leagues ahead. That, see, that's way bigger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, let's try this. Stand by main. Stand by main. Oh, hey. I'm getting so... <laughs> uh, you, can, you can tell that I uh, like my auto-duelers. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. The Sims are fun. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and set another card. Okay. And we're going to pass turn. <laughs> All right, sure. Uh, draw. Stand by main. I am going to bring out a very witty boy. <gasps> the Dapper Man. <laughs> and now I XC summon. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you're bringing out Utopia. Ah! Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so it's going to have 1600 defense. Uh, let's see. I have to think about this. Oh no, yeah, it's, it's a puzzle. Yes, definitely. Okay, I'm just going to enter battle phase, and I'm going to use your Rabby to uh, swing over your set card. All right. Uh, that is uh, a Hain Hain. Okay. Uh, we're going to well, put it that... Did, it, it would flip, though, wouldn't it? it? It did flip. Oh, yeah, it did flip, so it will trigger its effect. Uh, sure. And I am going to return your mystery set card back to your hand. Sure, that's fine. And I can't beat over Taihon because of the mountain right now. Uh, so I am going to pass turn to you. All right, draw a card. Stand by. Sure. Main phase. Hey. Hey, there we go. All rolling here. <laughs> all right, let's let's run out. Um, my my starter, uh, my starter fiend reflection number two. Okay, another wing beast. So that's thirteen hundred. And with a little help from Follow Wind. Oh, okay. So that's gonna be sixteen. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to that sweet battle phase, and sure. let's uh, let's run over that Urabi. Sure, that's me minus one hundred. Oh, riv riveting damage going on right here. Yeah, no, this is a very fun, very flowing game state right now. Absolutely. Uh, and to continue the flow, I will pass to you. Okay. Draw for turn. Stand by main. Let's see. Okay. Mm. I'm going to bring back my fun time mystery top mystery card. Oh, I, I'm so curious. And then I'm going to pass to you. Mm, oh, okay, okay. Our turn. It could be anything. It could be literally anything. That's actually true. <sighs> okay, it's a it's a tribute monster, and I don't think there's anything with any meaningful effect that you can tribute summon right now. Unless there is. Unless there is. And unless you enter main phase, we'll never find out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, let, let's hand. put that main phase counter on the board, folks. <laughs> yeah, main phase counter. A number of times, Nova forgets to enter main phase. Oof. Okay. All right, let's see. All right. My 
Shonen Heart has been rewarded. I call to the field by tributing Fiend Reflection and Tyhone for Trihorned Dragon! Oh my goodness, he's back! It's back! He's gonna gain 200 attack! It's bigger than Blue Eyes! Oh wow, okay. Alright, let's proceed to battle phase and find out what you're hiding! I activate the flip effect of Reaper of the cards! <gasps> Oh I select my gosh. that set card in the back row and destroy it if it's a trap. I, I, I talked about Reaper of the Cards earlier. How did I miss this? Um, you did. You will be rewarded. It is, in fact, a two-pronged attack. Okay. All right. That's worth it, I'd, I'd say. I, I think so. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Now it's time to stall. Draw for turn. <laughs> Stand by main. Let's do this thing. Oh, boy. Uh, haha. <laughs> uh, haha. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna set and pass. Alrighty. Is and it Pot of Greed in this set? It certainly is. Damn. Uh, <laughs> and I certainly hope that you don't play it. <laughs> no, I, I will say, I'll spoil, I did not draw Pot of Greed. Okay, well... Uh, it, while opening. Well, for the sake of uh, sportsmanship, I also did not draw... I did Ooh. also not pull Pot of Greed. Yeah, so okay. we're, we're in a greedless format. We are in greedless format. All right, we're going for the witty phantom. Okay. Um, you would be doing that if you were in main phase. I, I'd be doing that. <laughs> put it on the count. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Uh, event. Eventually, I'll be bullied enough into remembering. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's give him a dark energy too, just to. Oh wow! Look at you with the equips. Oh, it's a big, the big orb. It's it's You're getting it's the weird. lucky draws. I am not. <laughs> Uh, well, the, oh, I'm, I'm scared. This is, like, gonna be one of those powerful flip monsters, but let's go. Trihorn oh Dragon, give it a it big could. punch. It could, also just, it could also just be a turtle tiger. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll so take... I'm take 1,700. All right, there we go. That's All right, that. go ahead. All righty. Drop or turn? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, whew, what do I even do here? Let me... Let me, get, let me get a second to think about what I want to do here. Oh, no, take your time. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the, the scenic view atop this wonderful mountain. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Very beautiful out here. Um, I am going to set pass. Jesus. A lot of set pass here. All right, draw. Draw. Stand by. Draw. Stand by. Main. There it is! <laughs> there! <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing from you, normal, normal main face counter. Listen, man, at least I remember to enter the main phase. I might not have the best draws here. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I, well, I wonder what that is. That's, that could be, wow, that's, uh, Ooh, I don't know what that is. Who could say? You mm. have seen one Hain Hain, but are there two? There possibly could be. It might just be a turtle tiger, though. All right, let's try Horn Dragon. Yep, that's going to be a fever warrior. Oh. He's going to grave. He All right. Take another 1,700. That'll do. All right. All right, take I care. I need a miracle here. And I'm not going to get it, but I am going to get something that's at least kind of decent. I'm going to set this. And I'm going to set this and pass to you. Mm, alrighty. So we have introduced a flip card. Wow. Frightening, frightening. Very much so. All right. Uh, let's normal summon the ah. terrible dude. Tara the asshole with the stylish <laughs> hat is back. All right, uh, battle phase. Let's yeah. attack with Big Dragon. Big Dragon is going to go through on that end, and this is going to go directly to the grave. And I'm going to take, what is that, 29? Uh, yeah, 29. All right, 29. That was lethal, but uh, thankfully we did not get that, so. All right. Noah Jank. As your rival, I, I believe in you. I have to. I draw. This might be what I needed. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm going to set. And pass. Oh. I might have right. gotten the destiny draw I needed. All right. Then let's see what destiny has in store for us. I will flip summon yep. Aqua Madur. Oh, wow. Not Okay. Not what I expected. He, he's big, just in a different direction. Yeah, no. It, it, I mean, it's good. 
All right, and Trihorn Dragon, attack! Uh, I will activate the flip effect, destroying Mountain. Oh, the big field. Not that it matters too much in the end. All right, then I will attack directly for Witty Phantom. 1400, and... Are we going for lethal? Oh, we're going for lethal. All righty. That is going to be game, set, and match oh. for Nova. Congratulations, my friend. Thank Duel you. Number one is yours. Thank you so much. That was, I, I, so when I opened uh, Trihorn Dragon the set, I was hesitant to put it in because um, I was worried about like stuff like Maneater Bug, Fisher, like just getting completely sidestepped. And when I saw that monster reborn, I'm like, nope, that's it. I'm I'm gonna <laughs> lose. I honestly, I probably jumped the gun on the reborn. I probably should have saved it for later. That might have been a better call. In the end, it didn't. I don't think it ended up mattering too much. Uh, I just wanted to accelerate the game state somehow, starting off. Uh, would you like to know some of my pulls? Or oh, I'm allowed to disclose that. No, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. So, um, here's some of my pulls. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some stuff from my deck real quick. I brought out. I did pull this guy. Yo! Um, I did pull this guy, but the only other thing I pulled was three of these. The, the what? I pulled the left leg playset. I did, in fact, pull a left leg playset, and I was very tempted, very, very tempted to run the left leg playset, but in the end, uh, it was not to be. I did, um, now this was pretty good. Uh, I did uh, pull this guy. Ooh. Um, oh, I that would have, yeah. That would have helped. That would have saved. That would have won me the game if I had Ooh. targeted your Trihorn Dragon. Uh, yeah, that would have been a... Had a way to come back, or at least mounted a comeback. Not one, but... Oh, yeah, with, with Trihorn Dragon not being a menace on the battlefield. Yeah, that would have been a great yeah, opportunity. Exactly. Uh, pulled this guy. <gasps> oh, my gosh. And I pulled this guy. Are you... Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I... Okay. When setting all of this up, I did a test run just to make sure I understood the client and all that. Okay. In that test pool... I pulled Dark Hole and Raigeki. <laughs> oh my god. And they're gone forever. <laughs> they're just gone. Well, no. they're, they're here in mine. Yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> okay, this game long. could have easily gone differently. <laughs> it could have. My draws were god awful, though. Let's see what was next. Oh my god. Oh, next was Goblin Secret Remedy, so. Oh uh, god, okay, so for. <laughs> <have> really done much. <laughs> Ooh, delicious. What is it? Um, 600 life points. <laughs> what is. Are those like nerds on a, on a leaf? <laughs> Uh, they are now. I thought blueberries, but I prefer the little candies much better. Yeah, I think it's probably better to have. Uh, um, okay, so, better. yeah, my secret my secret rares were Trihorn Dragon, and I also okay. pulled Gaia the Dragon Champion. Hey, I um, pulled a Gaia as well. The the Dragon Champion or, uh, Horseman? Horseman. I pulled Gaia Horseman. Did you get polymerization? Nope. Okay, uh, because I pulled... None of those three. So Gaia, <laughs> Gaia is just kind of chilling in my extra right now, just being a, just being a yeah, cool no, dude. Um, I'm the same. I have a flower wolf just kind of in mind. Yeah. Just kind of, um, it's, it's just kind of vibing. No, not that. Yeah. <laughs> Go to green. Not really a lot of uh, winners here, to be honest, in my uh, deck that I pulled. I mean, I have the flip monsters, uh, but I mean, other than that, that's really kind of the meta in 2002, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, not not just just n vanilla beats all the way. Um, we've also got Red Eyes Black Dragon. So next set, hopefully I can pull. Um, well, I guess I can't make it anyway because I didn't pull Polymerization. But if I get Summon Skull, I can make Black Skull Dragon in Spirit. <laughs> is Polly not in other sets? No, this is the only main set that it's in. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, damn. Okay. Uh, here's hoping that when GX comes around, we get some decent uh, fusion spells. All right. So I think it's time that we have a little discussion, Nova. Yes. The most important part. Now we need to uh, entreat our audience uh, to uh, make sure not to hit not any of my cards because my cards are completely fair. Um, but right, exactly. It, uh, Noah clearly showed off that he has some of the most powerful DM staples of all. So uh, I do. Yeah. So um, everyone, please play in Dark Hole. Please ban Darkhold. Please ban Raigeki. Uh, they're absolute terrors of the format. Listen, if you're watching this video, then you've seen the win condition in both games already. You know what must be done, Chad. Ban Trihorn Dragon. It must be done. 
But Trior Drax is a little boy. He's a little birthday boy. He's not little by any means. At one point, <laughs> he had 30 50. That's a lot of attack. Uh, my, my, I'm going to vote. My vote for banning is Trihorn Dragon. And um, that's really the main one I want gone from this because I want a chance at winning, damn it. And you look <laughs> like the protagonist draws, but this is your ace monster. And I want to I don't have an ace yet. I haven't been established yet. Ah. Well, well I need then. My ace. <laughs> Then episode two, uh, well, it has Summon Skull. Maybe you'll get, maybe you'll be the first person to True. have Summon Skull ever. True, that's a good point. <laughs> All right, well, that's that's my go. Um, you can use your veto, right? Yes. Uh, once the uh, once the three uh, the top three are decided from the comments, uh, it's going to be a twenty four hour period. So make sure to okay. comment as soon as you see this. Uh, after that, there'll be three. The top three will be selected to be banned, and then I get to pick one of those three, and that gets to stay in the format until it gets voted out again. I cannot use a veto on the same card over and over and over again right. to keep it safe. Um, so hopefully, Trihorn Dragon will stick around for a little bit longer. <sighs> and this is going on your channel too. Your subs are all gonna like. No, we want Trihorn Dragon to stay. <laughs> okay. Is... No, no, that's. That's not gonna happen. If you know my viewers, they know they would they will bully me as often as they possibly can. Okay, it's like that then. No, Jack, do you have any parting thoughts uh, about the game or to our audience before we go? Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode one of the Progression Polls. This has been something that Nova and I have had in the works for a while now. Uh, so I'm glad to get uh, working on episode one and many more are to come. So stay tuned. Yeah, and if you are not, I, I implore you, if you did not heed my uh, my cry at the beginning of the episode, please go follow Nova Jank, Noah Jank. They're uh, <laughs> Nova. Jank. It, it's our it's our ship name, Nova Jank. Yeah, um, exactly. No, but Noah Jank's uh, essays are incredible. Uh, I've never felt so um, engaged and informed about some duels that I didn't even know existed uh, until he talked about them. So uh, please follow him. It's it. worth. It. Oh yeah, that um, what's in a duel about uh, Yusei versus um, Spider Man. Himuro, yeah, Himuro. He's got yeah. the uh, Jirai Gumo. <laughs> yeah, the whole Jirai Gumo. Fun one. Never, never felt so invested in that duel until you like broke it down. Like, man, this this duel rocks. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can have a duel of that caliber. Oh, what? Yeah, uh, I'll make sure to go like knock over a fence post or something and get that cool uh, sector security mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need it. Yeah, that's how you're gonna get arrested by knocking over a fence post. Mm -hmm, I like mm -hmm. how that's immediately what you went to and not like anything more heinous. Like that to you is like the most heinous idea of a crime. <laughs> no, a absolutely. Um, the, <laughs> the, our, our society is built on an infrastructure and those mm. infrastructures are built on barriers. And it's true. And if anyone sees you getting rid of a fence post, then God help you. Yeah. You're really, you're, you're sticking it to the man. I'll say, I'll say that much. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been episode one and I just have to say to your viewers, Keep your game on. All right, thank you very much for watching, and I'll we'll see all of you next time on Progression Polls. Take care.